Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here. It is, uh, well, Monday night, Memorial Day. Hopefully everyone had a good uh, Memorial Day out there. 8.51 p.m., uh, May 27, 2019, here on the West Coast, uh, California. Time, 8.51, that is. And take a look at the Earthquake 3D globe out here, folks, on the live stream. Uh, relatively uh, quiet activity, for the most part, um, following that 8.0 that uh, struck in Peru uh, just about two days ago now. We have seen a little bit of earthquake activity further west here. Um, you guys can see here on the earthquake 3D globe here a couple fours popping off just a short time ago near Indonesia Islands region. Um, nothing major to report there. Uh, there has been a couple other aftershock activity uh, earthquakes um, within the Peru region, well, south of there anyway, uh, relatively south of there in South America. A couple fours, the latest, a 4.7 earthquake. You guys can see these two earthquakes right here uh, hitting almost back to back there. Um, other than that, there's not a whole lot to report when it comes to uh, a new activity right now. There is, a, I, I guess, a 2.9 that struck over here around Tennessee earlier today. Um, that one not abnormal i guess we do see earthquake activity over there being uh it is a seismic uh, active network or uh, active area i should say uh, with the uh, new madrid fault system over there this one striking about two kilometers north northwest of ridgely tennessee area uh, that 2.9 there so uh, other than that not a whole lot of earthquake activity uh, to report in the uh, Midwest nor the Southern Plains area. Uh, normally we see a little bit of earthquake activity out there in Oklahoma and in Kansas and Texas region, but uh, uh, it's fairly absent right now as far as activity goes, um, which is probably a good thing, right? Um, here is the latest earthquake uh, map from the California Nevada Caltech website. Uh, relatively quiet, even here in California, we're not seeing a whole bunch of earthquake activity. In fact, to me, it looks a little bit below minor, or a little bit below uh, average activity. Uh, if anything, it looks a little absent uh, in earthquake activity. But, uh, well, uh, we've seen times like this before, so it's not uh, anything new. But uh, it is noticeable. Um, I did want to go over the slow slip event uh, activity over here. And you guys can see this map here. It's not the real-time map. This is actually the, uh, uh, what's the website up here? You guys could probably see that up there, the uh, pnsn.org. Um, actually, that's a monitoring system here. Anyway, this here is the latest search results for the date of uh, May 27th and also the 28th here. We got 332 epicenters up around Seattle central oregon and also uh southern oregon as well uh pretty interesting activity i should say let me zoom in here just a tad bit so you guys can see the activity that's going on well, actually it's probably better if we stay out here um so this is actually a really interesting graph here because these guys give you kind of like the magnitude, the energy, so to speak, of the slow slip event that's going on. Uh, and there's a lot of it. There's a lo lot of cluster going on up here around Seattle, Central Oregon, and also uh, Southern Oregon as well. Let's see here. So anyway, clicking over here on the right side of the screen here kind of gives you a little bit more information about it. Longitude and latitude and all that stuff and the ma magnitude, the energy released, right? Well, there's quite a bit of ones, a couple middle 1.5s up there, I guess. Um, so this map is kind of new to me. Normally, I'm used to using the real-time trimmer uh, map, which is still 404, which means it's uh, offline. Uh, if you guys are, are uh, uh, regular users of the Pacific N Network, Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, uh, you guys will know about the real-time tremor detection system, which is uh, normally a cool map to check out when it comes to uh, real-time 
slippage uh, on the Cascadia subduction zone. That has been uh, 404 here for a couple days now offline. So um, who knows what's going on? I'm going to try to get a hold of someone there at the Pacific Northwest Network and see if they know what's going on. Uh, it's a map that I normally use. This one here is, like I said, it's pretty new to me. I don't normally use this one that's up on the screen right now, but it is kind of cool. It's, it's kind of handy because it does show you guys the magnitude of the um, of the event that's going on. Now, these are not necessarily earthquakes, but it's the energy released in a slow slip kind of rocking chair type fashion, right? It's really slow. Um, so yeah, it's subducting um, and it, there's still a lot of energy. Um, I guess kind of building up out there whether you look at it uh, as a good thing or a bad thing you know I think uh, when there's slow slippage up here uh, I think one of my regular viewers mentioned this before that uh, if there's slippage uh, way down below then that means that pressure is still building up offshore or at the um, at the subduction point where it's locked which does make sense um, but it's a very very touchy subject out here and that and who really knows I mean Nobody knows if this is good or bad news when it comes to the uh, Cascadia subduction zone there uh, But it's something that I will continue to monitor and uh, Like I said, I've been watching these slow slip events for quite some time and it's not abnormal to see huge clusters like this, but uh, uh, Just a lot it seems like a lot of activity for just What today? mostly today and and I don't even see dates on the 28th right because it's not even the 28th yet at least here in California so all this activity th these large clusters uh, on a large scale basis here are just from today so that's a uh, that's a, a pretty big deal in terms of uh, of what's going on out there so um let me check here real quick see what this one is oh, hold on Okay, Yellowstone. Yeah, nothing, not a whole lot going on at, out here in Yellowstone either, folks. Uh, it's something I like to show to the regular viewers out here um, because Yellowstone is kind of what got me started out here on the channel. Uh, I think it was back in 2007, 2008, late 2007. Hmm. I think it was late 2007, early 2008 uh, when Yellowstone had a uh, a major swarm earthquake swarm going on and that's uh something that i've been interested in for quite some time but uh right now it's pretty quiet pretty uh, mellow out there not a whole lot of earthquake activity to report um, at all within that region there uh, covering the solar weather data real quick it's kind of something i'm going to continue to uh, include here on the update videos um, right now looking pretty quiet I mean the latest update here on May 18th was what almost 10 days ago now um, you know there's no sunspots at all on the uh, on the globe on the Sun I should say which is uh, normal for the uh, quiet period that is going through so no risk of any kind of type of flares uh, that includes M class and X class. It looks like they have a zero one percent there, just for the heck of it. Uh, three day geomagnetic forecast looks like a possible G zero storm. Uh, three to four coming up on the May twenty eighth, May twenty ninth, May thirtieth time frame. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. But uh, their last update says uh, geomagnetic activity is currently at quiet levels. Uh, another coronal mass ejection which is a CME that was expected to deliver a glancing blow to our geomagnetic field may have missed or was too weak to notice. Uh, the geomagnetic forecast released by the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center is no longer calling for geomagnetic storm conditions. Uh, so anyway, that was that was a uh, what, about almost 10 days ago when they issued that. So everything else is pretty quiet, folks. Uh, no solar storms out there to report. Um, this evening so getting back to the earthquake 3d globe here um, where's the latest earthquake yeah it looks like they're having another earthquake out there around the Indonesia islands region so that makes three um, just within the past hour or so so we might want to watch this spot here for some further increased 
activity here. It looks like the pressure may have been shifted into this region, uh, at least temporarily, or, or at least for now anyway, as we've seen uh, multiple fours building up within the same region there back to back and pretty much stacked uh, on top of each other. So we will keep an eye on that. Uh, in the meantime, folks, uh, I think that's all I wanted to cover. Not a whole lot uh, to cover tonight, but uh, I do want to welcome all the new subscribers that I've gotten out here. Looking at my data here on the YouTube channel, looks like we gained 106 subscribers over the past week or so. Uh, so I do want to welcome everyone out there uh, and uh, thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, like I say, we try to do update videos uh, every night. I try to anyway. I can't guarantee it. But uh, when there's activity, I try to make a more, um, more, uh, more of a, of a positive of getting getting a video out than I would uh, if there wasn't. So, um, yeah. So right now, we'll continue to watch this area around the Indonesia Islands region. I do have quite a few stations pulled up. I don't think I have any live data. Actually, I do. Yeah, live data over here on the fourth fourth seismic one down that's going to be this one right here put the hand up so you guys can see that's the indonesia station right there um but this one may be far away from that four pointer that just hit so that's probably why it's not picking it up if anything it's a distant earthquake on this one right here of course a four pointer is not that big of a deal right so it's not going to hit uh too hardly on the seismograph network unless it's really close by the station here so uh, in the meantime folks have a good night out there i probably will be uploading some more videos throughout the night and uh just some older videos some uh some storm chasing videos that i that i uh, haven't got a chance to upload yet um, i'll probably do that throughout the night and uh, possibly over the next couple days so in the meantime folks have a good night out there we'll catch you guys uh, a little bit later stay safe out there peace